y'all and thank you so much for stopping by our gray house my name is Lisa yes my hair is wet I just got out of the shower I'm about to go to my other office where I have a printer and print out some stuff for a later appointment so I thought okay need to at least wash the hair I cannot go days without washing my hair but that's not what this video is about so this video is a super quick trash to treasure video that's basically what it is trash to treasure and then I make this other little thing, but you can just watch the video and then you'll see. Today's project is a tray and it's gonna go on the kitchen table and it's gonna hold my trash to treasure spaghetti jars that I'm making over for another video, but this is the tray video. This is the video about the tray. So I've measured and I'm over here by our miter box and we have a saw. I've put a mark on here where I've got a cut so I'm going to cut the pieces down. The tray is going to be three paint sticks wide, and then it's just going to have a small lip, this square dowel that we bought at Elliott's Hardware, and that's just going to be it. It's just going to have like a small lip around it, and then the, um, the uh, ch -ch -ch spaghetti jars will fit inside. So here's the tray, and like I said, it's a very shallow lip to it. Just a little tiny lip right here, but it's enough to fit four spaghetti jars. This should be a quick and somewhat easy project, I hope. Basically, I'm going to glue these three things together. These are paint sticks that I just cut down to the size that I wanted that are going to fit another project that I'm doing. So I'm going to put this on one end here, here square it all up, glue it, and call it a day. Ta -da! So not that hard, but um, I'm doing it on wax paper because I like to be able to, I feel like it doesn't stick as much. I mean, it still sticks, but sticks less. How about that? First step, gluing these three together. I'm not trying to go crazy with the glue or be crazy glue or anything like that. Just trying to get a good bead of glue on. Kind of spread it out a little bit. Trying to avoid that. When I squeeze it together, I'm trying to avoid it being super icky. That's a term. Icky's a word. So when it oozes up like this, I like to try to get like a wet paper towel. I don't want to leave a whole lot of glue residue on the actual piece of wood. So just try to, it's not going to be perfect. It's okay. So again, just trying to spread out the glue a little bit. So it doesn't ooze as much, hopefully. Now I don't have a clamp, so I'm just gonna hold it like this for just a second here to make sure it's kind of sticking together. Then I'm gonna add these to the bottom. Try not to work too much too quickly because, um, and I'm not gonna put glue. Glue doesn't go all the way up because it's only this little lip that's gonna get glue. Like to make sure I can still kind of move it so it's not so it's not sticking as much <laughs> I'm gonna let this dry for longer and then I'm gonna add the last piece the glass jars that I'm using are actually spaghetti jars and I was going to try to cut off the tops but I, I found a glass cutting thing, but there was like too many steps. So anyway, I'm just using them as they are and I'm using E6000 for a more permanent hold and I'm using hot glue for a quick hold and I'm just applying some burlap that I bought from Dollar Tree um, around the middle. Okay, you need to go, 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 go. 
Now I'm gonna embellish it with some white yarn. Dollar Tree does sell white yarn. I actually got this from, I think it was Hobby Lobby. And I just had these beads on hand that I bought from Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description box below, but just wrapping it around the glass jar with some yarn, tying it up, adding some little beads for decor, added decor, and that's about it. Obviously I had a couple helpers helping me because what would I do without helpers, right? I love how this turned out. I like the green color that I used. It was just a Rust-Oleum spray paint, chalk paint, and they turned out great. This is them empty. You can fill it with just about anything that you want to. You can put forks, knives, and spoons in them for kind of like a cutlery um, holder. And right now I just have baby's breath on my kitchen table and I just love how it looks. Thank y'all so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps my channel. And I would love it if you would subscribe. And um, yeah, that's it. I don't know what else to say at the end of the video except thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Don't forget, if you wanna follow me on Instagram or here on YouTube, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life though because that's creepy. Bye.